Well, hi again, you guys. Welcome to another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. As you guys know, I like to make these in batches, so it's been a few weeks, and I thought we would knock out a few uh, episodes, and uh, thought we would start with uh, the late, great Tommy Bolin. I thought at one point he was related to Mark Bolin, but the names are spelled differently, even though they're both awesome guitar guitarist vocalists, and they both kind of passed away way too early. So, but we're going to focus today on Tommy Bolin. So, uh, the way I kind of pick these episodes out, the artist, the, what song, that's sort of art, science, randomness. But um, I, I do end up listening to a lot of music in the car on some of the satellite uh, radio stations that we pick up. My wife likes to listen to deep tracks. So, we were in the car and we heard this song and I'm like, God, I know that song from somewhere. And I love the Motley Crue version of it. And I was like, wait a minute, I thought that was a Motley Crue song. Well, it's actually the cover song, Teaser, from this record. And I'm like, wait a minute, I have that record. So it's this record I've owned for years. I've never played it. And uh, it turns out that this, this album is great. So Tommy Bowen came out, I think, with just these two um, solo albums. And we'll talk about the, two of the bands that he was in. I think he was born in North or South Dakota. And um, so the Motley Crue version of, of this song is great. I love it. But the way the, the original version on this record, this is the one we're going to do, is really terrific. I think there's some people playing on here um, that, we, that might be uncredited according to Wikipedia. Maybe, uh, or maybe it's on this one. Maybe Phil Collins, I'm thinking. So this is one of my buddy Mac, uh, Mike Mac. Mac. Um, uh, one of his all-time favorite records. This is he had this in college. We played this a lot. Uh, Private Eyes. So I think this one came out afterwards, and this is terrific. But getting back to this record, this is really terrific. Every song on here is great. I've been playing a, playing a lot recently. So what were these two other bands that uh, Tommy Bolin was in? He was in um, briefly. He was in Deep Purple. So it was on maybe their 11th or 12th album, and it turns out I don't have it, but I want to get it now that I know that that's the only Deep Purple. I have maybe six, eight of their records, um, and that's a, a story in and of itself. So he plays on one Deep Purple record. Then I was also looking him up online, and he came along and joined in the mid-70s the James Gang. And this was the version of the James Gang without... Um, you know, the guy went over to the Eagles, drawing a blank on his name. Um, it'll come to me. I'm, I'm getting old. So, um, so this is uh, Bang, the James Gang. And, I don't know, maybe that's uh, Tommy Bolin right there. So who else is on there is Roy Kenner, Tommy Bolin. Credited him playing uh, guitar, Mook synthesizer, and lead vocal on Alexis and backup vocal on some other songs. And then Dale Peters and Jim Fox. Um, and uh, so we're going to get to that song in uh, one second, but it's bugging me. Um, uh, Joe Walsh. How can I not know that? Well, I knew it, I just forgot it. So we're going to play the title song, uh, Tommy Bolin, Teaser. Really like this version of it. Thank you. 
while. You guys, that is, for those of you guys who watch and listen to some of these and subscribe or just watch and listen, uh, you know that's right up my alley. You know that's what I love. That is just fits, uh, fits the steam that we're doing down here. But do yourself a favor um, and check out all the rest of the songs on this, on this record. This is great. I did see on YouTube somewhere, maybe I'll put a link um, down below on this episode, where the guy, uh, the guy posts the whole record. Um, every cut in order. So that's worth listening to that way. And I uh, really appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching, listening, we, uh, the, the subscriptions and uh, the likes, the thumbs up. That's always great. I'm very honored uh, when I see some of those and uh, really appreciate it. So uh, also try to fit in some requests. And this is going to stay here for a while now that somebody commented on it. It is a pre-recorded uh, cassette tape kit in excess. We just like to keep that there as a point of reference. Okay, guys, well, listen, thanks again for watching. We'll see you again soon. This was another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. Thanks.